Even though Griselda is running Boom Bap right now, taking it to new levels and working with huge artists, what most people don't know is that Griselda is actually using a blueprint that was written more than 10 years ago by someone who isn't even in Griselda. Way back, two years before Griselda even existed, an album came out in 2010 from an almost unknown artist. An artist with absolutely zero buzz, who came off of losing a record deal, who had zero offers on the table. It was this artist who actually started the Boom Bap resurgence. It was here that the modern boom bap blueprint was actually built. Even major publications like Rolling Stones agree. This artist is the genesis point for the sound that we hear today after he wrote and produced this album. So who is this mysterious inventor of modern boom bap? What album am I talking about? It's Marsburg by Rock Marciano. On this album, we see three key ideas that are still used in modern boom bap today. And in this video, we're gonna explain what those three ideas are, exactly how this album influenced an entire generation, and we'll dissect some of the beat ideas that you can use in your boom bap beats as well. But before we start, I was actually doing one of those magic eye puzzles, and I was having a hard time figuring out what the solution was. So stare at this picture and see if you can figure it out for me. So let's start with idea number one. In many modern boom bap beats, there's a unique approach to sampling that wasn't often used in the past. For example, you can hear this on The Way We Move by Conway the Machine, produced by Big Ghost. Now see if you can hear a similarity between this beat and the beat for Thug's Prayer, which again came out 11 years before this. Yo, we took money, put them under the study, went from skinny to chubby in the city that's gully back again the approach to sampling in both these beats is almost identical let's break it down for the way we move here's a sample that was used surround me oh yes oh yes they do and here's how the sample was used in the beat for the most part, it's a raw loop. The tempo is changed and there are small switch ups made in the full beat here and there, but this is the core idea. <laughs> And now let's look at Thug's Prayer by Rock Marciano. This is the sample that was used. And again, for the most part, it's also just a raw loop with some slight adjustments to the sample. This is an approach to sampling that was rarely seen before. Typically with boom bap beats, there'd be a lot of chopping up the sample like so and adding some drums and bass as well. But this approach to just using a raw loop and not adding anything more is just something that we see a lot of in modern boom bap nowadays. And you can actually trace this to Rock Marciano doing it on this album. What most people don't know is that Rock Marciano actually worked alongside some of the most prolific producers when learning how to sample. He got to make beats alongside the legendary Pete Rock, but you can see that he decided to take his own approach with his own beats. Instead of dicing up samples like Pete Rock, he decided on a different direction. He just focused on loops and to a degree that was just unprecedented. So that's idea number one. Let's move on to idea number two by examining yet another track off Marsburg, Panic, which happens to be my favorite off this album. So let's break down how Panic was built. First off, we have this cool percussion alongside some drums and bass. There's this perfect string sample at the tail end of each bar. Every now and again, we have this organ that comes in, nothing too irregular so far. But the final piece to this beat was unusual for its time. It's this buzzsaw synth that really helps this beat sound so different. Mm -hmm. 
This pairing of synthetic sounds alongside classic jazzier sounds just wasn't something you saw often, especially with such a dirty aesthetic like this. But in modern boom bap, we see this all the time now. For example, Lemon by Conway the Machine, produced by Derringer and Beat Butcher. Play my position in the kitchen, I'm working. Whip it back a half and fifties, hit the strip and I serve it. If and Red Death by West Side Gun, produced by The Alchemist. I don't know nobody that's hungry. I don't know nobody that's humble. I don't know nobody that's fearless. And again, this feels common in modern boom bap nowadays, but Marsburg was one of the earliest times we see this idea to this degree. But now on to the third and final idea. Something else that many people don't know is that Rock Marciano got to work with another one of the greats, Jay Dilla. There's even a song with Rock Marciano, Busta Rhymes, and Notorious B.I.G. over a J. Dilla beat. Diamonds on my neck, chrome drop top, chilling on the scene, smoking pounds of green, Ooh According to legend, this song was meant for Busta Rhymes' album, but it was left off. The reason being, Biggie went hard at Tupac in his verse, and Busta just didn't want to be in the middle of it. Not sure how true this is, but Rock Marciano does talk about his time being around Jay Dilla in an interview and learning some valuable lessons from him. Primarily, rethinking his approach to drums and how to choose the right drums for his beats. And I think this is an idea that we see on Pop, another great track off this album. Like it not, not. The way that the drums are used in this beat is just vastly different than how traditional boom bap drums were used up until this time. So let's do a comparison so you can hear what I'm talking about. Here are the drums that are used on this beat. Now let's hear how this beat would sound if we took more traditional drums from a classic boom bap beat. For example, let's take the drums from this beat. And let's apply this to the same pop loop and listen to the difference. You can hear these classic drums are a lot more bright. There's a lot more emphasis on the hi-hats and less so on the kick and the snare. But we see with a lot of beats on Marsburg, the opposite is true. We have these large booming kicks and snares and really subdued hi-hats. And again, we hear the same idea in a lot of Griselda beats like A Thousand Corpses by Conway the Machine, produced by Derringer. And Dr. Birds by the whole Griselda crew, produced by Pete Butcher and Derringer again. So you can see a lot of parallels between the modern boom bap sound and the sound that was on Marsburg, which again came out more than a decade ago. So let's try to make a beat using the same formula from the Marsburg blueprint. First, I'll start with this sample here. Here's the loop that I'll use for this beat. Next, I'm going to bring in some big booming drums. And here's a little pro tip that you can use if you want some big fat drums like this. What I did was I took a drum break and I applied an effect to slow it down and pitch it down as well. That way all the notes get stretched out and then I record this as a sample and resample it after pitching it back up. And then finally, I'm gonna include some synths in this beat and move away from that more classic jazzy feel and more into the modern boom bap feel. And there we go, we have ourselves a modern boom bap beat. I'm a big fan of Griselda and all their production. I love their music, but I wanted to make this video to pay homage to what came before them and give thanks to Rock Marciano. So if you haven't checked out this album, make sure you do. But if you want a video on some more modern boom bap ideas, check out the video next to me. In it, you'll learn even more cool tips and techniques for making these kinds of beats. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe, watch the video next to me. And uh, yeah, until then, I'll see you next time.